Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Well, it's that time again. The Hilton Head Humane Association, a WHHI TV news partner, upcoming Valentine fundraiser for the love of paws. And here to share more, Bonnie Powell. Welcome. Thanks for having us today. Taking Franny's role today. We trying like that. We try like that. Yeah, once in a while I need a break from Franny. Don't tell her I said that, though. <laughs> we'll just cut that part out. <laughs> so this is actually a very popular event for the Hilton Head Humane Association. How many years has it been running? Um, well, this is our second year at Shelter Cove Community Park, but all together it's eight years. Eight years. Yeah, so it's a really, really popular, fun event for people to come out. They can bring their animals and just have a good time. And so um, what's actually planned for the event? We have a lot of things going on. Um, we do have a cakewalk, and then okay. we have a DJ, some entertainment, um, a bake sale, silent auction, photo booth, and then obviously on-site adoptions for people that want to maybe take an animal home. Right, I, and that's the whole goal, really. I mean, there's a lot of um, really wonderful, wonderful animals that are at the association yes. that really just need adopted. So, um, do you have any special guests coming to the event? We do. We actually have the DJ's Alan Palchek, mm -hmm. and so he's always so much fun and gets the crowd going, and it just, he's great. And then we also have Zachary McDougall, who he was nominated for Bachelor of the Year. Right. Um, he picked Hilton Head Humane to be the charity if he won. Um, he, unfortunately, he didn't win, but we still think of him as the bachelor. Yes, guys. yes. So that's fun. Yeah. So um, you also have an online special Valentine Gram. Mm -hmm. So explain that one. Yeah, this is actually new um, this year. What we're doing is you can purchase a Valentine Gram for your special someone, and I actually personally send them a card in the mail. And then there's a little section where you can write a special message for them, and we actually put that up on our website. So oh. we can show everybody what they have yeah. to say. What? <laughs> and Franny actually said that yours is in the mail, so be ready for it. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what her message is. Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how do you guys need some more volunteers, or how can people help with the event? Are you still looking for sponsorships? We always um, are asking for volunteers, so if they want to help the day up, that's great. Right. Whether they want to take a dog or you know help with the cats. Um, and then also donating a cake for the cake walk. We're looking oh, for around okay. 30 cakes. Okay. Um, so they can purchase the cake or they, if they are feeling creative, they can bake one themselves. Bake a cake, yes. yeah. And then obviously the Valentine's Day gram, because I just think that's fun. Yeah, that yeah. is so much fun. So um, what's the date and, and the time mm -hmm. of the event? It's February 11th, mm -hmm. and it's from 11 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon, and it's at Shelter Cove Community Park. So all outside, um, it, it, we did it last year. It's a great venue, and it's, just, it's a beautiful space. Right, so we're and excited. It's, it's, it's great. For, Obviously, for adults, for kids, and for and for yes, pets, yes, yes, so which is was the the biggest part of it, right? So, what is your fundraising goal for this event? We're trying to raise around fifteen thousand, mm -hmm. um, and I think with the help of the community and our supporters, I think we'll go above and beyond that this yeah. year. Yeah, and um, those funds will be directed towards all towards the animals at the shelter. So, all proceeds go to helping the dogs and cats. And what do you have coming up? We do have um, the Captain Woody's Oyster Roast. Oh, that that's always so always much so fun. Always so much fun, even always. if you don't like oysters. Even if you don't like yes. oysters, there's something there for everyone. Yes. But it is really quite a fun event. Yeah, so that is the first weekend of February. Okay. So um, if anyone's on the south end and want to swing on in, we'll have some animals out there and obviously a fun fun time. And usually we talk a little bit about our, our visitor, I know, our special visitor. Yes. He's resting now. Uh, yeah, he's old. Um, this <laughs> he's is, nine years old. Yes, this is Ari. He's a golden retriever mix. Um, and he came in as a stray. Um, he came in on Christmas Eve. Aw. Yeah. And, and he's wearing uh, his Christmas yes, um, well, attire. I, I tried yes. to get a little bit festive today. <laughs> um, but he's nine. And um, unfortunately, he's not available yet because he did test positive for heartworms. Okay. Um, so he does have to go through that treatment, and it does take a little bit longer when they're older. But we're going to fix them all up and have them ready for adoption. And he might be there on February 11th. Uh, hopefully. Say so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.